we're here just to do our little quick team brief on our patient who's 47 years of age and he's come from the Midlands, essentially it's a self-referral. He's got a dilated aorta, his aorta measures 5.2 centimetres and he looked up the internet and the idea of an external aortic root support system of pairs was quite appealing to him. Two years ago, James became concerned about his heart. Scans have revealed his aortic valve is under immense pressure and is at risk of bursting. Being told by medical professionals that yes, you, you know, you can rupture any time. Uh, and, and I said, and how do you fix a rupture? If you don't fix a rupture, you're gone. It's like game over sort of thing. I literally crumpled into a chair and thought, my life's over. To fix his heart, James must undergo the PEARS procedure. During the operation, a graft is wrapped around James's faulty aortic root and stitched back together. This stops the aortic root from widening further, lowering the chance of a rupture. This is what the graft looks like before I take it off. It's a woven polyester graft. So these grafts are made from computer images from the CT scan and it makes this 3D former, which 3D printing is now very commonplace, you can even do it at home. And this is making an exact replica of what the patient's aorta looks like. So this is not something that you can lift off the shelf. This is personalised, this is exactly what the patient's aorta looks like. So this is the anaesthetic medicine that we're going to start putting in. I know you said you don't drink, but this is what it feels like to have one too many. We'll see you in a few hours when it's all done. Thank you. I think this operation is definitely going to make a big change for um, our patient's life today, actually, it'll make a big difference to it. Good, that's the chest open. So we just have to do a little bit of preparation just to get in and get adequate exposure of the aorta. That's all right, let's open up the pericardium. With the aortic root exposed, Connell must now ensure the graft fits perfectly, without constricting any of James's arteries. Just working out the height that I've got to dissect below the coronary arteries. Uh, so it's just about a centimetre and a half for the right coronary artery, and the left one is even less, about a centimetre and a quarter. So now what we have to do is we have to take the pars prosthesis off the former. This way, going around uh, the whole of the aortic root, essentially, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just fancy a bit of tailoring. <laughs> okay, come out now, please, Emma. Slip that through, that's good, well done. It's like a fancy tea bag, isn't it? <sighs> Some operations you can do them through partial sternotomies, we only open up a little bit of the breastbone, but this one. It's a big operation, you need to get proper exposure to make the operation safe. These are important stitches, once you get these right then everything looks good. Blood pressure is now coming back up again, the graft has been implanted. I can feel already the pressure coming up in the graft. It's now starting to look a bit tight on the aorta. Oh, it looks lovely. Okay, well that's perfect. We're all happy with that. Lovely, looks nice, looks really good. It's been four days since James's surgery, and now it's time for him to return home. Hello, James. How are you this morning? Yeah, good, thank you. And the wind all okay? Can I have a quick yeah, yeah, he's welcome, yeah. look at that? Okay, perfect. It's been the darkest year of my life last year. Most definitely. I mean, I, I can only wish others don't have to have a year of their life like that. You've got my email, you've got my number here, if there's any concerns at all, okay? Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. It's, it's not actually sunk in 100% yet. I think Kate with my wife would be very glad, and my children, bless them, that I'm kind of yeah, going to be available again. OK, thank I'll you. see you before you leave, thank all you. right? I can't thank the people who've made this happen enough. I feel like I've um, been extremely lucky. I'm very much looking forward to getting back to being able to do uh, things that I loved.